We are going to look at the generation of excitation emission matrices, or EMS, for the analysis of coloured dissolved organic matter, or CDOM, using the Hariba Aqualog. In addition, to show the versatility of the Aqualog, we have brought it out into the field. And with the aid of a generator and laptop computer, we have established a mobile, temporary laboratory for quick and easy EAM generation. We have come to a typical south of England river and canal complex, which also features a sewage treatment plant outlet. We sampled water from upstream of the outlet, in the vicinity of the outlet, and downstream of the outlet. EAM generation has been done traditionally with a spectrofluorimeter, for example the Hariba Fluoromax. By scanning the emission at a sequence of excitation wavelengths, which takes several minutes to complete the full data collection. But now, with the Aqualog, we have a multi-channel detector on the emission side. So the emission spectra at each excitation wavelength are collected almost instantaneously, reducing the data collection time by one to two orders of magnitude, a major advantage if you have a large number of samples to analyse and time is of a premium. The other added attraction of the Aqualog is the simultaneous measurement of the absorption spectra, which can be used to correct the sample data for the inner filter effect, as we will see later. Previously, a separate UV-Vis spectrometer would be required to collect this absorption data, adding even more time to the process. To demonstrate just how quickly the whole process can take, here is an uninterrupted sequence showing the generation of an EAM in real time. And we start with the experimental setup, within which we can choose an integration time, in this case 0.1 of a second. And now the prompt to put in the blank. Each line is an emission spectrum at a given excitation wavelength. The blank can be run for each sample, or this blank data can be used as the reference for all subsequent samples, so saving even more time. Now we remove the blank and put in the sample. You will note that the excitation goes from the higher to lower wavelengths to minimise any possible effect of radiation damage. Now all the data is collected and we get a prompt to add a name to the project. And now we have the data manipulation to generate the sample minus blank 3D plot. Now we have the option of removing the Raleigh lines, both first and second order. And we can correct the data for the inner filter effect, utilising the absorption measurement data taken whilst the fluorescence EEM was being generated. Finally, the EEM, which we can tidy up for presentation purposes, removing negative spikes and setting an appropriate maximum and minimum for the contour shading. So there we are, a total time approximately two minutes. 
an EEM generation out in the field in a fraction of the time a scanning spectrofluorimeter would take. For more information and to see the results of this study, please go to the Aqualog webpage.